Where's my cappuccino? Relax. Look at you. How did you lose all your money? We've been over this. Look, I can give you an allowance. You can pay me back when you get a job. No, now drop it. Rachel, can you give this to Val? It's Suzanne calling. Sure. Hey, yeah. Uh, here's your cappuccino. Oh, thanks. Here, I'm late for work. You have it. I need to talk. Okay. All of this is serious. Right. Can I offer you a cappuccino? Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. It's about Zach. Are you even listening to me? Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, he likes you more than you like him. It's not that. Do you know the other day when I was babysitting? Dermot! I need to talk to Dermot. Look, don't worry about Zach, okay? He's a Dylan. He'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, could you do a shift for me after school? It's just on a waitress down today. Yeah, I'd love that. Great. Well, would you check with me even Paul? Say about half four? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Ask them first, yeah? Zach! You should be gone. I'll see you over there. Well, here. I'll take that with you. Zach, will you please go to school? UCC. Yeah, they do law, just to keep your options open. Zach! I'm not going to live in Cork. I'm waiting for Rachel. Oh, I don't make yourself so available. Let her do some of the chasing. Listen to what's talking. Oh, he is going to be late. Now, at least he is not waiting for a bishop. Thanks. Am I got a job? Where? Uh, Vino's. Yvonne asked me to do a shift, but my dad won't let me. If he doesn't, tell him I'll do it. Yeah, well, he might. I'm gonna go get that. Hey, Charlotte, what if they got planned for Jekyll tomorrow? What's it to you? Uh, they've obviously left you out of the loop. Hmm. Well, whatever we're doing, you're not gonna be there. <laughs> you might catch Zach, if you're lucky. Cow. Wait till she finds out her dad's a big fat cheat. No, you are so much to tell her. Oh, I won't, but Zach will. No, look, I'm not going to say anything to him. You have to. We'll tell him on the way to school. Well, then I'm not calling for him. He's going to find out, Rachel. I should never have opened my mouth to you. So you're just going to give out free financial advice? Yeah, well, I'm sick of people asking me for advice in the middle of the street. Mm. Now I can just give them one of these and talk to them at the clinic. Yeah, looks good. Oh, listen, um, tell Paul thanks, will you? What? He offered to take Ben down to Cork next weekend. Oh, right, so Orla isn't going to take him down for you, no? No, Neve, she is not. She is far closer to Joe than I thought. Who knows what she's been saying to her? There you go. Oh, oh, uh, you just ordered coffee, Zivon. Oh, we're on table. No oh, and I asked Rachel if she could do a shift later, but I said she had to run up on you and Paul first. Oh. No, I'm sorry, Yvonne, not with the junior cert coming up. But I'd say she'd love some summer work, though. Right. You know, if Kelly was still here, she could have done it. Hi, yes. How are you? Neve, um, I think I'll just grab a coffee over at the community centre. I have to go there anyway. <sighs> Yvonne, cancel my order. How long is he going to keep this up for? That is the second time he has snubbed me today. I could hardly look at that man in the eye. Why did you have to tell me that I was Tommy Dylan? Great. Someone else to hate me. Even Pete wants me out. Oh, do you know what? Work it out, Orla. I mean, just, just, just cook him a meal or something. You can't afford to cook a meal. Well, I darn his socks. Pretend you're nice. Sort it out. How long was the affair going on for, anyway? Months. Oh. I feel so sorry for poor Judith. Well, don't. Because she is just as devious as her husband. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks, Yvonne. What do you want? Nothing. I'm not staying. See you. See you later. Where's your ma? With the patient. You must be busy packing your bags. What are you on about? Deco's coming home tomorrow. I'm going to be moving back in. <laughs> must be on drugs, eh? I'll be in touch in a few days. Thanks, Jennifer. Great. So, you got my message. Yeah. I want you to go shopping for me. What, now? Yes, now. We're having a small family party for your brother tomorrow. He won't want the fuss. Well, he hasn't had a proper meal in weeks. Go to that butcher's on Ballantyne Avenue. Can you not just do it when you're off? No, I'm working late. Go on, just do it. I spoke to Professor Burke. He'll see Mary Nolan on the 16th. Can you let her know? Yeah. 
Uh, sure. Thanks. Mom, listen. Um, uh, I've got a friend who knows the court system inside out. I thought I should meet up with him. Yeah? Sounds like a good idea. No, he's in Dublin tomorrow. Uh, he's an expert in Irish criminal law. Can I have the day off? Tomorrow? Yeah, but it's just... I won't get another chance. And it's an area that really interests me. <sighs> OK. Go on. I'll get a temp. Thanks. Promise I'll make the most of it. Oh, Neil. Oh, hiya. The community centre website is ready to be updated whenever you get the chance. Oh, well, I can do it now if you like. Yeah? Oh, hiya, Neva. I was just looking for you. What's all that? Nothing. Is that our bleach? I, I was just borrowing it. Uh, Orla. Did you just steal them out of our kitchen? No, I didn't, Dermot. I was borrowing a capful. A capful, all right, and then I was going to bring them back. Give them back. Now. And how did you get in? Oh, Orla, give them back the keys, would you? You're playing us. I wonder Joe had an affair. Oh, you were only up in court last week. Yeah, I was. And you told me to do something nice. Oh, so it's my fault. Yeah, and it's it? worn off, right? I've got two euros left, Neve. Two euros. I'm gonna go and get a scratch card feeling. So what are you gonna do for money? Rob a bank. It's a possibility. But while you're saving for your balaclava, why don't I ask Christy if there's any part-time work going? Pretend I didn't hear that. No, just to get you on your feet. Stop. Leave me alone, Charlotte. I'm not telling them. Some friend you are. Oh, I'll just wreck everything for them. What do you care? You have no idea what it's like. It's my friend, too. Yeah, I shouldn't even be hanging out with you. I'm going to Saks now. If you're not there in five minutes, I'm telling them what you heard. Who's he? Oh, that's uh, Val's son. You're kidding. Hey there. Well, I have to talk to you if it's serious. Oh, <gasps> this is about Zach. I thought I told you to stay away from Charlotte Bishop. I can't stop her from coming into a shop. I mean it, Rachel. And I'm sorry, but you can't work in Venus tonight. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. Well, not with the junior cert coming up, no. I hate my life. So what did you want to talk to me about? It doesn't matter. Do you think I should apply for a job in Venus? Mm. Why not? At the court case. Oh, would you ever get over yourself, Orla? Well, my ladies. Tommy. Tommy. <clears throat> how's um, how's Rachel coping with the study? Yeah, yeah, tough. Yeah, very, very tough. Yeah. Just want to know. There you go. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. There's a pot of soup at home if you want some. Uh, no thanks. I have to pick up a few things. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Judith. Mm -hmm. Could I have the day off tomorrow? I'm sorry, Vivian, not tomorrow. It's just Declan's being released and I I'd like to be there for him. He's getting out tomorrow. I could get that agency nurse who was here before. Everything would be covered. He's been very low lately and I'm worried about him. P please, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Go on. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. I got in trouble this morning for being late. Sorry. You couldn't let me know you weren't coming. I didn't have credit. Where's your dad? At work. Why? How do you know he's at work? Charlotte. Rachel has something to tell you. I, I don't mind her. Tell me what? You should know what people are saying about his dad. No one is saying anything about his dad. You're the only one that knows. Knows what? You told me, so you should tell Zach. Stop it. If you don't tell him someone at school, Bill. What are you going on about? You have to. Rachel, just tell me. Tell him, you idiot. Tell him. <clears throat> Look, this is awful, and I'm really sorry. But your dad was having an affair with Joe Fahey. You guys are really sick, do you know that? I don't believe you. 
It's true. Yeah, right, liar. They were having an off for months. Shut up, Charlotte. Why do you think the fire split up? He threw her out because she was at it with your dad. My dad would never do that. Did she tell you to say this? No. I don't believe you, sicko. You can't blame me for this. You're such a liar. I'm really sorry, Zach. But I heard Dermot and Orla rowing about it. Ask your dad. It doesn't matter what you heard. It's a lie. It's not Zach. Yes, it is. It's a lie. Maybe you shouldn't have told him. Zach, are you here? You better shut your mouth in front of my mother. Hiya. Hiya. Charlotte, hi, Rachel. They would like some soup. Well, um, we had lunch. Am I interrupting something? You should get back to school. Yeah. Are you coming? No. Are you not going with them? I feel sick. I'm not going back. What's wrong with you? Um, I'm going to my room. Hold on a sec. What's going on? Nothing. Um, he wasn't well earlier. Lots of people at school have that. Really? What are the symptoms? Don't know. You better go. Hi. Yes? I was talking to Rachel. I heard there might be a job going and I'd like to apply. Oh, I need staff, I can trust. I know what you think of me. But I'm deeply ashamed of what I did to Rachel. So you should be. I need a job, Yvonne. And if there's one going, I'd really appreciate it. Not at the moment. Sorry. Hello again. Oh, hi. I think we're destined to have a coffee together. My treat? Yeah, why not? So, I haven't seen you around here. I'm kind of on a working holiday. Oh. Oh, are you a writer? Not even close. Uh, prison warden. Excuse me? Well, it's the opposite to a writer. As it happens, I'm a banker. <laughs> oh, not a very popular profession. I'm one of the good guys. Yeah, right. So you donated your mansion in Martha's Vineyard to the HSE? I'm not a fan of Martha's Vineyard. No, me neither. I prefer Kirkstein. It has its attractions. Dad, you are not going to change your mind. She wants to stay in Perth. Have you eaten? All right, well, come over here. I'll get you something. What do you have to eat? Uh, yeah. yeah. OK, look, I'll see if I can get someone to cover for a bit and try and get over later. Yeah. OK, bye. Orla. Um, <clears throat> I'll be back in a second. Can you do a trial now? A trial? For an hour. Can you do it or not? Yeah. Great. I have to run out for a bit, so um, let me show you quickly. That's OK. Place. Don't worry about it. OK, good. Uh, the chef's out of the wholesalers, but it shouldn't be more than coffees at this stage. Great. I'll, I'll just grab my bag. Mm -hmm. OK. <gasps> I'm afraid destiny has to be postponed. <laughs> My friend needs a stand-in manager for a few hours, so... Maybe we could make it a drink later. Say the pub across the road? Eight o'clock? I'm Eddie, by the way. Orla. I'll be in my dad's. The number's on the board. OK. You're late. I know. I'm sorry. I, I, I can work late to make up first. I just have to run to the loo, OK? You right? Not great. Did you call in on Zach? Hmm? He doesn't want to go to the match. What did he say? He barely spoke to me. Hmm. But uh, said he wanted to be on his own. How's Quiva? Look at this. She's throwing a get out of jail party for that waster. She's going to get back with him, isn't she? Oh. Judy, I don't want you getting stressed about this. I mean it. OK. And I'm doing dinner tonight. And after that, I'm going to take you out for a drink. Nice. I'll see you later. Thanks. Could you take a seat? I'll be with you in two minutes. You put too much spices in the sauce. Your mouth is boring. We should get a discount. Will you just tell Yvonne that I am brilliant? That way I might get a job and he might get his rent. How'd it go? Yeah, no problems. What was that? The chorizo fritto. <laughs> You cooked it? Yeah, I found everything in the kitchen. Uh, 
Uh, I must say, the service in here today was great. Good. Was excellent. Um, I'll take over now. Yeah, l I really enjoyed myself, Yvonne. So, I mean, if you're looking for a waitress. Well, I suppose I could give you another trial. Yvonne, I could do the stand on my head. Take it or leave it. Fine. I'll take it. Good. I'll see you in the morning, so 8.45 on the dot. Thank you. How's your then, huh? You live like a pig, Zuma. We don't want all my stuff. I put it in your bedroom. Oh, you are disgusting. <sighs> Get out. Deco paid the rent, so I have as much of a right to be here as you have. You don't want to get out of here right now, Jeremy. I dare you. That better not be any of your smelly maids coming to mess the place up. Yeah? Ma? Yeah, right, come on in. Great. How'd you get a key to my gaff anyway? Deco gave it to me. It's my key. I got that key off you, didn't I? Yeah. Well, just as well I got one cut. Or he would have had to come home to a kid. <sighs> you know, after all you don't want to, I'm sure you're the last person I want to see. Oh, grow up, we're past all that. Did you get the shopping? No, I didn't have the time. Huh, typical. What are you doing here? I'm cleaning my boyfriend's apartment. The place was like a hovel. He's trying to start wrecking his head. Ew. Vivian. You know I care about him. Look, oh, whatever you think, I'm doing this for Deco. Fine. Finish the cleaning and then leave. But you better not be here tomorrow. It's just family. And you're not welcome. I'm going to make up his bed. Uh, I just cleaned that. Well, then you'd want to do it again, then, wouldn't you? Very skivvy after all, aren't you? So if I gave you 50 euro today, you'd give me 150 euro tomorrow? No. But seriously, if you gave me 50 grand, I could travel it in a year. Oh, you probably have to head now, Neve, don't you? Back to the kids. Sorry, better take this. Hong Kong never sleeps. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hong Kong never sleeps? Yeah. He checks the markets. Yeah, or else is his mommy calling him home for his dinner. You are ruining my vibe here, Neve. Orla, you've only just met him. Yes. And I would like to get to know him a bit better, so would you go over there and talk to Judith? Oh, do you know what goes through my head when I look at Tommy, doesn't it? Oh. Sorry about that. No mm -hmm. You're grand. And he was just going. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, see you, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Great. Bye. Bye. Neve. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. Uh, Rachel didn't mention anything about today, did she? Uh, about, about school? Well, anything. There was an odd atmosphere when I came home for lunch, like I'd walked in on something. What, between her and Zach? And Charlotte. Rachel was with Charlotte. The three of them were together there. Yeah, I knew they were in the shop together. Rachel's banned from seeing Charlotte. You know, I'm, I'm pretty cross with her. Why can't she see Charlotte? Charlotte Bishop forced Rachel to sell black market cigarettes. You're joking me. Mm, she's a manipulative little witch, that one. I don't like her. You don't think she's trying to get Zach to do things, do you? Well, do you know what, if I were you, I'd ask. She's troubled at me. I'll, I'll, I'll see you see there. Ya. I see. So, are you attached? Would it make a difference if I was? Mm, if you had a wife and five kids, I might. Not guilty on all counts. You? <laughs> Clean record, Your Honor. So how come you're single? Oh, how come you are? I travel. Me too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I just finished doing a big PR gig in Sligo, and I got offered a gig in London, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stay here for a while. Meantime, you're a good Samaritan helping out your friend. Actually, I'm I'm pretty amazing all around. You don't suppose she's trying to rope Zach into doing anything illegal, do you? Well, we'll get to the bottom of it. <sighs> Sometimes I I feel like I'm gonna crack in half. Hey, hey, hey Judy. Well, you won't. We're strong. I'll get it. It's probably Sean. Is Zach in? I have notes I have to give him. Uh, yeah, he's in there. Hi. Hey. I'm really sorry, Zach. I wish I'd never heard them. I hate him. Look, I know what it's like. 
when my dad cheated with my auntie. It's terrible, but you get used to it. It just fights all the time and then it stops. What if they split up? They won't. Dermot and that fat tart did. I'm sorry, Zach. I really am sorry. Even if it's awful, it'll stop being awful and then something else will happen. It's no big deal. Can you go now? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Bye. Did you get the job? Oh, yeah, I think so. Great. Buy a drink. Ah, uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> Come on, we can celebrate. Raise out in the beer garden. Ah, uh, no, you're grand. Keith, I'm going ahead now in a minute, anyways. I'll catch you again, OK? Two points, Steve. Sure, I'll drop them out, you. Listen, cancel that order. Change your plan. OK. I have a bottle of Sancerre at my place. All right, am I supposed to be impressed? You will be when you taste it. Uh, we're kind of skipping ahead a bit here, aren't we? Sorry. I'm out of practice. <laughs> sure you are. I am. What do you say? Can we take a risk and open it? Don't think I don't know what you're doing tomorrow. You lied to me. I didn't, actually. I said I was meeting someone who knows the law inside out. You're only fooling yourself, Quiva. Where's Zach? in there. We're in the mood. Okay. Can I come in? I'm going to bed. Zach, talk to me. I know something's bothering you. Is Charlotte Bishop trying to get you to do something? Don't be stupid. There you are. You feel better? Get out. We are only trying to help. You don't know what he's really like. I know what you did. I hate you. I hate you so much. Zach, what have you heard? It's true, isn't it? What have you heard, Zach? Ask him. My sisters have gone mental. They'll throw you out. We already know. No, not this you don't. He cheated on Mum. See, he's not even denying it. It's okay. We know. What do you mean you know? You were away. Your mother and I have been through a difficult time, but uh, everything's okay now. You all know? Get off me! Get your hands off me! Sad. No, just get away from me! And there's more from Fair City tonight at 7.30 or at 8.30 on RTE Plus One on digital. And you can catch up on all the drama at a time that suits you on the RTE player. Rescue 115 is on the way in five minutes' time, but next we're off to the newsroom.